All right, I'm gonna start with my usual activators here. Uh, this gets your glutes warmed up, gets some blood flowing into them. Uh, a lot of times we'll waste a few reps in the beginning of a workout just trying to activate the glutes and use those muscles and not the big muscles of your legs. For me, my quads always want to take over in any movement, so this sort of uh, tells my glutes that it's time to work. Now I'm doing frog pumps, 20 of these, and then I'll do the side lying clams, 15 on each side. So throw a hip circle on like I did to force your legs to abduct and that really engages your glute medius and glute minimus, the upper outer muscles, so they get warm too. I added some extra activators because I didn't plan this workout and I didn't have time to do a warm up. So this kind of became my warm up. So now I'm doing fire hydrants with that same band to both sides. I think I did 20 on each and then I did um, like kickbacks 20 on each because uh, I knew I was going to go heavy. Now this is sort of building on the activating idea. I'm going to pre-exhaust the muscles I'm going to use for the hip thrust with just an empty barbell and a band. I did 30 reps with no weight other than the 35 pound bar just to kind of get it going. So there are lots of different ways to make hip thrusts interesting. Um, tonight I threw on lighter plates, so just 25 pound plates on either side. I kept the band and I would do one rep and then abduct at the top. Um, until you try this, you have no idea <laughs> how much harder they get when you start doing that. So go slow, don't over arch your lower back, really think about pressing from the bottom through your heels and your glutes and then hold up there for that abduction and you'll feel it. Now I put a lighter band around my ankles, so this is a pretty terrible camera angle because it's me, but I basically put, like, pull my legs apart enough so that there was tension on that light plastic band and did reverse hypers because I always find these are like a lot of bang for your buck and I feel them intensely. So you'll start to learn which ones really work for your body that you feel the most. So you want to be thinking about that as you're working out. Now I'm doing the side lying deficit leg lift, um, again pointing my heel up, it's just where I feel it the most. So play around with your angles, I did 30 on each side, I think I did 2 or 3 sets, I had to keep reshooting it because the angle was <laughs> obscene, it's really a constant problem. But I think I did like 60 to 90 on each side, I just kind of repped it out and went pretty fast.
now I'm gonna do some glue bridges. Um, I weighted them, you can do them either way, it doesn't matter, they're always hard. So I did 10 weighted and then 10 each leg, single leg, so you'll see. And I did three sets of that. Okay, I don't know what I call these. I think I call them like flying clams. <laughs> Get set up so that you feel stable, like your elbow should be right under your shoulder. Like I had to adjust it because my shoulder's always my weak spot. And then you kind of lift up and then open up your knees. Um, you'll know when you get it right because you'll really feel it and you'll feel good and then you can pick up pace a little bit. So I did 20 each side. These are awesome and super hard. I'm finishing up with my minimum ab work that I'll do um, if I don't have any kind of spicy abs planned. So 30 uh, relaxed crunches and then 20 oblique crunches to each side and 20 hip ups for lower abs. And that was it tonight, but I got it in. It's weird, I just did a workout at night, which I don't really love doing, but my kids are with their dad for the weekend, so usually this is bedtime, but right now I was able to work out. Um, I didn't really plan that workout, I just knew I hadn't done like heavy legs and glutes in a couple of days, so then I feel like I should do it. So I just threw that together, but I'll write it out. Um, and what was I gonna say? Oh, when I don't have a planned workout, I usually think about muscle groups. Like, I've always had a pretty good knowledge of basic anatomy, and I think about my glutes, and I think about my abs as like my two main areas of focus in my legs, but usually when you're doing glutes, you get legs anyway. So with the glutes, you've got three areas. You've got glute max, which is like the big booty, and then minimus and medius, and those are kind of the upper like contours. Um, so I try to do something that hits each of them, for glute max, um, the hip thrust for sure, definitely uh, the overall winner for that muscle group. And that's what gives you like volume and shape. And then anything where your legs are going out, you're gonna hit your glute medius and minimus kind of just comes along for the ride. Um, but then I try to do like under booty, which was when my foot was up on the bench and doing the single leg hip thrust, you feel that kind of right where your butt meets your leg. Um, and I always say, as you get older, weightlifting is the best way to kind of keep your shape because you have to think of it like fillers for the inside of your body like your skin's kind of going to go to shit at some point it just is I mean mine certainly already is starting to sadly um, but if you build muscle you're kind of filling it out 
So you don't want to go nuts, but you want to think volume and shape and contour with weightlifting. So I tried to do that tonight. Okay, I hope you guys have fun plans this weekend, you know, like staying home and doing absolutely nothing again. <laughs> but hit that house party, hit the Zoom, hit FaceTime, and um, I think I'm gonna do that in a minute. Order some sushi, because it's just me for dinner, um, which is like a nice break. I miss the guys so much, but I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna try to shoot a lot of workouts this weekend because I won't be taking time away from them. So hopefully I'll have some pretty cool stuff um, up on the page soon. So keep checking and remember, I'm gonna do it with you. I'll do it if you do it. So get after it and uh, hang in there. I'll see you soon.